The spotted lanternfly may be a beautifully colored insect, but both homeowners and farmers will have to deal with this invasive species. Vineyards, tree fruits, and many landscape plants are favored hosts for the spotted lanternfly, but their feeding damage can be significant. Both adults and immature life stages feed by piercing into plant tissues to slurp up sap. This can stress plants and cause localized branch damage. Repeated feeding, in combination with other stressors like weather, other insects, or diseases, will weaken and eventually contribute to the decline in health of trees, vines, and herbaceous plants that it feeds on. The spotted lanternfly is a very challenging insect to control because of its adaptability. Originating in Asia, the spotted lanternfly was first found in the U.S. on imported stone in Berks County, Pennsylvania in 2014. Since its initial finding, it has spread to multiple states, including Virginia. In 2021, it was found in Prince William County and has continued to spread. The spotted lanternfly goes through four distinct life stages, eggs, nymphs, older nymphs, and adults. In Virginia, nymphs hatch from April to May, depending on temperature. The first three stages are black with white spots. Generally, these first three stages are not thought to cause much damage, as they feed for a short period of time on tender vegetation and don't consume as much sap as adults. Fourth instar nymphs, or older nymphs, will be present in late spring to early summer. This stage is bright red with black markings and white spots. At this stage, they will start to feed more heavily and be more selective on its preferred plants. As they feed, you may notice a water-like substance dripping. This is a sticky waste called honeydew that can cover cars, decks, grills, and provide a perfect medium for black sooty mold to grow. As the spotted lanternfly grows from its third to fourth stage, you may need to consider management strategies for intense feeding of hundreds of nymphs especially on already stressed trees and shrubs. Experts advise squishing the spotted lanternfly when found. However, when numbers increase to the hundreds, that becomes impractical. Pesticides labeled to control the spotted lanternfly can be expensive, toxic to humans, and harmful to many other beneficial insect populations. Virginia Cooperative Extension offers publications with options for management and control. One way to safely manage emerging populations is by vacuuming or trapping with mesh bands and disposing of the dead insects. However, this is only a management tool and is not practical for managing large populations. That's why early detection is important. If you see the spotted lanternfly, don't panic. Our Prince William County SLF management team is here to help and available to answer any questions you may have. We encourage you to report any new findings of this insect. Submit your sightings and photos directly to us via our online survey. If this finding is in a new area, we may visit to confirm and work with our state and federal partners to assess and manage populations. Once you've submitted the survey, try your best to smash the insect. While it will mostly be a nuisance to humans, we encourage working with local and state agencies. Together, we can raise awareness and encourage responsible management with minimal impact on plants and the environment. Slow the spread of the spotted lanternfly by reporting suspected activity online at bit.ly slash report SLF in PWC.